a lot of Asian countries, and I can particularly speak for Malaysia, there are a lot of cultural and traditional beliefs still among um, even educated women that somehow leadership is not something really for women, particularly really important leadership, uh, such as in political leadership. We need to tackle this type of beliefs because <coughs> it's very prevalent. And I, I think that's where uh, my group Sisters in Islam is really leading the way because we, um, we understand uh, where these beliefs come from and the beliefs about religion. So what we're doing is really unpacking these uh, beliefs and showing that religion, in, in this case uh, Islam in particular, does not hold those views and does not um, promote this type of re reticence about leadership among women based on this. And we actually have uh, historical examples of Prophet's own wife and, and various queens who are actually mentioned in the Quran. I think the problem is that a lot of Muslims, uh, particularly women, do not know what's in the Quran. They have relied on interpretations by um, certain authorities, usually men, who therefore bring their own biases into it. But um, my group at least believes that there is room for, the, in fact, it is all about justice and equality in Islam. And what we need is a real hard look at the text and to reinterpret it, it in a way that is positive for women. And it can be done and there's certainly a lot of um, uh, verses, etc. to support it. But as we've seen uh, in our neighboring countries, for example, in Indonesia, with patience and persistence, women get it. They, they get it. They, they understand that their faith is not there to make them miserable, that it can be empowering and, and positive as well.